So it's gotten to the point where I don't even feel the need to get properly dressed anymore, which is kind of great. This is what each of the 16 types loves and hates about quarantine. INTPs. What do INTPs love about quarantine? Well, pretty much everything. Suddenly the world has to play the game on the INTP's terrain, and the world will not fare very well in that game. INTPs may be the type least likely to notice any difference between their normal life and their quarantined life. But what does an INTP hate about quarantine? Well, it's about principle. The principle that the government can impose isolation on a population is an idea that tends not to sit very well with INTPs. This is probably more the case in the US, where everyone is a bit more freedom obsessed than in the UK. But INTPs, being the paradoxical creatures that they are, are likely to object that this is unfair, unprincipled, or even unconstitutional to be forced to stay in, yet having zero desire to actually go out. ENTPs. ENTPs hate being restricted, having potential removed, possibilities cut off and halted. ENTPs love to be expansive in all situations and scenarios, and suddenly their playground has got a lot smaller. However, there is one counterintuitive aspect of creativity that ENTPs sometimes need to rekindle, and that is that creativity can increase as restrictions increase. You are forced into having less options, therefore need to be more creative with what you have. So if an ENTP has the right mindset in these times, they can actually be, surprisingly, even more creative than usual. ESFJs. In my experience, ESFJs have their social engagements planned further in advance than maybe any other type. And of course, all of those social events and encounters have been at least temporarily derailed, which will not be fun for them. So much of an ESFJ's genius comes from the in-person experience they can give to people. Quarantine takes that superpower away from them. But they will love, depending on their circumstances, the opportunity to spend time with family. They can now look after people in a more direct way and also connect more deeply with people that they may not have seen for extended periods in their life. ISFJs and ISTJs. Both of these types create systems in their lives in the forms of routines and habits, which make them brilliant in their consistency and stability. But big and unusual moments like these take them out of their routines. However, both types love to draw upon their experience. And now that they're living through a situation like this, next time anything like this happens, they'll be prepared. ESFPs and ESTPs. Both of these types love to be out there in the world, chasing thrills and experiencing new things. Being cooped up is kind of brutal for them. What I imagine is very frustrating for them is hearing all of these intuitive types speculating endlessly about what will and won't happen when they can't personally go out there and see things for themselves. Both of those types love to be at the ground level. What they could potentially love in this time is finding new ways to entertain themselves in these confines. Some SE doms I know have been doing DIY around the house, cooking, just shaking everything up, getting around to doing projects that have been on their to-do list for ever. But finding new ways to enjoy the same pleasures each day allows them to kind of go deeper with their search of sensory pleasure rather than constantly trying to find it in new places. INFPs and ENFPs. These types are two of the most explorative and open-minded, and very likely to want to seek out new and unusual experiences. Quarantine prevents them from their usual music concerts, weird art exhibitions, laying in forests and contemplating life, etc. What I think a lot of people love seeing, but especially these two types, is the natural world recovering from the negative impacts of humans, at least for a period. INFPs and ENFPs are the types that will often choose animals and plants, over humans. INFJs. I think they love getting away from the rush of everyday life. Being able to focus on their long-term goals and projects, it's a time to do a deep dive into the magical world of introverted intuition, to see what wonders can be pulled out. Also, I think they enjoy being the go-to counsellor for lots of their friends who are going crazy in quarantine. And what I think they hate is being the go-to counsellor for all their friends in quarantine. They are great in that role, but have a love-hate relationship with it. ENFJs. They hate not being able to socialize in person. In line with the stereotype, I would say they're one of the most social types. They're kind of masterminds of the social realm. They love to flex their people skills, and it's often their route to success. ENFJs, however, often push themselves hard, sometimes too hard, and don't always look after themselves. So this 
if correctly used, can be a time for TLC and self-care. Well-timed rejuvenation can increase productivity in the long run, much more than hustling an extra hour a day can. ISFPs. ISFPs hate to have their independence taken from them, or hampered in any way. They value freedom greatly, both the freedom to be themselves and the freedom to roam wherever they want. Simple freedoms like getting up in the morning, jumping in your car, and driving somewhere just because you can and you want to. One thing that is often overlooked with ISFPs is how introspective and even philosophical they can be. This can be a great time for both of those things and even, dare I say, trying to add more structure and planning to their lives. ENTJs. ENTJs are relentless creatures. Anything that stops them working, building or producing is going to be extremely frustrating for them. However, this could be a good time to re-evaluate certain things in their life. ENTJs are susceptible of being so ambitious and driven that they can neglect to stop and think about whether what they're pursuing is in line with their personal values. Is what they're doing deeply meaningful to them or not? ISTPs. Just based on ISTPs that I know, they tend to be low-key rule breakers. So I imagine sitting at home resisting the urge to break rules in the situation is very painful. Like ISFPs, they value their physical freedom very highly and will start to feel quite claustrophobic if they can't get out much. They'll also, I think, have similar objections in principle that INTPs do. But ISTPs, as the nickname goes, are craftsmen and women who love to tinker and master things over time. So this obligationless period could be a blessing in disguise where they can refine skills and learn new ones. ESTJ. Having to adjust their well-crafted structures that they've built up over their whole lives will be stressful. They are very orderly types that like to be well-oiled and on-time machines. Innovation for its own sake is not something they'll tend to indulge in a lot, but times like this offer an opportunity to upgrade and rethink old approaches. INTJs. INTJs hate... that... Amazon deliveries are slower? Hmm. Okay. New theory. I think this is an INTJ conspiracy. This requires further investigation. Also, what I personally hate about quarantine is when people watch our videos but don't like and subscribe. Like, really hate it. Kind of with a passion.